The Swift Programming Language 5.6 edition, book copyrighted by Apple and made available under the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License. Opaque Types A function or method with an opaque return type hides its return values type information. Instead of providing a concrete type as the function's return type, the return value is described in terms of the protocols it supports. Hiding type information is useful at boundaries between a module and code that calls into the module because the underlying type of the return value can remain private. Unlike returning a value whose type is a protocol type, opaque types preserve type identity. The compiler has access to the type information, but clients of the module do not. The problem that opaque types solve. For example, suppose you are writing a module that draws ASCII art shapes. The basic characteristic of an ASCII art shape is a draw function that returns the string representation of that shape, which you can use as the requirement for the shape protocol. You could use generics to implement operations like flipping a sheep vertically, as shown in this code. However, there is an important limitation to this approach. The flipped result exposes the exact generic types that were used to create it. This approach to defining a joined shape structure that joins two shapes together vertically, such as in this code, results in types like joined shape, flip shape, triangle, comma, triangle, from joining a flipped triangle with another triangle. Exposing detailed information about the creation of a shape allows types that are not meant to be part of the ASCII art module's public interface to leak out because of the need to state the full return type. The code inside the module could build up the same shape in a variety of ways, and other code outside the module that uses the shape should not have to account for the implementation details about the list of transformations. Wrapper types like join shape and flipped shape do not matter to the module's users, and they should not be visible. The module's public interface consists of operations like joining and flipping a shape, and those operations return another shape value. Returning an opaque type. You can think of an opaque type like being the reverse of a generic type. Generic types let the code that calls a function pick the type for that function's parameters and return value in a way that is abstracted away from the function implementation. For example, the function in this code returns a type that depends on its caller. The code that calls max chooses the values for x and y, and the type of those values determine the concrete type of t. The calling code can use any type that conforms to the comparable protocol. The code inside the function is written in a general way, so it can handle whatever type the caller provides. The implementation of max uses only functionality that all comparable types share. Those roles are reversed for a function with an opaque return type. An opaque return type lets the function implementation pick the type for the value it returns in a way that is abstracted away from the code that calls the function. For example, the function in this example returns a trapezoid without exposing the underlying type of that shape. The make trapezoid function in this example declares its return type as some shape. As a result, the function returns a value of some given type that conforms to the shape protocol without specifying any particular concrete type. Writing make trapezoid this way lets it express the fundamental aspect of its public interface, the value it returns is a shape, without making the specific types that the shape is made from a part of its public interface. This implementation uses two triangles and a square, but the function could be rewritten to draw a trapezoid in a variety of other ways without changing its return type. This example highlights the way that an opaque return type is like the reverse of a generic type. The code inside make trapezoid can return any type it needs to as long as that type conforms to the shape protocol, like the calling code does for a generic function. The code that calls the function needs to be written in a general way, like the implementation of a generic function, so that it can work with any shape value that is returned by make trapezoid. You can also combine opaque return types with generics. The functions in this code both return a value of some type that conforms to the shape protocol. The value of opaque joined triangles in this example is the same as joined triangles in the generics example in the problem that opaque types solve section earlier in this chapter. However, unlike the value in that example, flip and join wrap the underlying types that the generic shape operations return in an opaque return type, which prevents those types from being visible. Both functions are generic because the types they rely on are generic, 
and the type parameters to the function pass along the type information needed by flipped shape and join shape. If a function with an opaque return type returns from multiple places, all of the possible return values must have the same type. For a generic function, that return type can use the function's generic type parameters, but it must still be a single type. For example, here's an invalid version of the shape flipping function that includes a special case for squares. If you call this function with a square, it returns a square. Otherwise, it returns a flipped shape. This violates the requirement to return values of only one type and makes invalid flip invalid code. One way to fix invalid flip is to move the special case for squares into the implementation of flipped shape, which lets this function always return a flipped shape value. The requirement to always return a single type does not prevent you from using generics in an opaque return type. Here is an example of a function that incorporates its type parameter into the underlying type of the value it returns. In this case, the underlying type of the return value varies depending on t. Whatever shape is passed it, repeat, creates and returns an array of that shape. Nevertheless, the return value always has the same underlying type of array of t, so it follows the requirement that functions with opaque return types must return values of only a single type. Differences between opaque types and protocol types. Returning an opaque type looks very similar to using a protocol type as the return type of a function, but these two kinds of return type differ in whether they preserve type identity. An opaque type refers to one specific type, although the caller of the function is not able to see which type. A protocol type can refer to any type that conforms to the protocol. Generally speaking, protocol types give you more flexibility about the underlying types of the values they store, and opaque types let you make stronger guarantees about those underlying types. For example, here is a version of flip that uses a protocol type as its return type instead of an opaque return type. This version of protoflip has the same body as flip, and it always returns a value of the same type. Unlike flip, the value that protoflip returns is not required to always have the same type. It just has to conform to the shape protocol. Put another way, protoflip makes a much looser API contract with its caller than flip makes. It reserves the flexibility to return values of multiple types. The revised version of the code returns an instance of square or an instance of flipped shape, depending on what shape is passed in. Two flipped shapes returned by this function might have completely different types. Other valid versions of this function could return values of different types when flipping multiple instances of the same shape. The less specific return type information from protoflip means that many operations that depend on type information are not available on the return value. For example, it is not possible to write an equal equal operator comparing results returned by this function. The error on the last line of this example occurs for several reasons. The immediate issue is that shape does not include an equal equal operator as part of its protocol requirements. If you try adding one, the next issue you will encounter is that the equal equal operator needs to know the types of its left hand and right hand arguments. This sort of operator usually takes arguments of type self, matching whatever concrete type adopts the protocol, but adding a self requirement to the protocol does not allow for the type erasure that happens when you use the protocol as a type. Using a protocol type as the return type for a function gives you the flexibility to return any type that conforms to the protocol. However, the cost of that flexibility is that some operations are not possible on the return values. This example shows how the equal equal operator is not available. It depends on specific type information that is not preserved by using a protocol type. Another problem with this approach is that the shape transformations do not nest. The result of flipping a triangle is a value of type shape and the protoflip function takes an argument of some type that conforms to the shape protocol. However, a value of a protocol type does not conform to that protocol. The value returned by protoflip does not conform to shape. This means code like protoflip, protoflip, small triangle that applies multiple transformations is invalid because the flip shape is not a valid argument to protoflip. In contrast, opaque types preserve the identity of the underlying type. Swift can infer associated types, which lets you use an opaque return value in places where a protocol type cannot be used as a return value. For example, here's a version of the container protocol from generics. You cannot use container as the return type of a function because that protocol has an associated type. You also cannot use it as a constraint in a generic return type because there is not enough information outside the function body to infer what the generic type needs to be. 
using the opaque type sum container as a return type expresses the desired API contract. The function returns a container but declines to specify the container's type. The type of 12 is inferred to be int, which illustrates the fact that type inference works with opaque types. In the implementation of make opaque container item, the underlying type of the opaque container is array of t. In this case, t is int, so the return value is an array of integers and the item associated type is inferred to be int. The subscript on the container returns item, which means that the type of 12 is also inferred to be int.